All right, I'm here with a brand new pickup video. Uh, I thought I was probably going to hold off on doing one until after I went to the uh, Pittsburgh Retro v Gaming Convention, which is tomorrow as I'm recording this. Um, but I've amassed a decent amount of stuff, and I feel that um, there's a good chance that I can go up there to the convention and go to Pittsburgh and stuff and not get anything at all, but I, I would hope not. Um, I, I figured that video, I think I have enough stuff here to warrant a separate video. I don't want to make a video that's like super long or anything um, after I get that stuff. Uh, so we'll just see how that goes. Maybe I won't get anything at all. So I figure I've amassed enough stuff here. I'll just uh, kind of do a video. It's a pretty cool one. It'll be a good one. Um, so I start off here with uh, I'm trying to think what I should start off with. I guess I'll start off with some uh, Toys to Life stuff. Uh, everyone's favorite. Get that out of the way because I know a lot of people don't care for it. First up. Um, I got the standalone Chibi Robo Amiibo. Uh, I, like probably many other people, didn't know that this, just the standalone Chibi Robo is Amazon exclusive. I had no idea. I just figured, hey, I, that's kind of weird that I don't see any of the standalone Chibi Robo Amiibo out and about, um, when I, I thought they released it standalone. It's Amazon exclusive, but luckily you can get this for really, really cheap. Uh, I bought it for like seven bucks. It's down to like in the six dollar range. Um, now, so if you want the standalone Chibi Robo Amiibo, uh, go on Amazon, he's like six bucks to get. Um, just by that, I don't, I don't know why. Uh, a couple of the Animal Crossing Amiibo, like Tom Nook, uh, are like in the five dollar range. I think they're just kind of dropping, Amazon's just dropping them in price, I don't know, probably to get, you know, they want to make more room for the new stock of Animal Crossing Amiibo that dr just dropped today, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I got the Chibi Robo. Uh, also released today, I got a few of the ones released today, uh, Lucas, which I'm really excited to see that there's a Lucas Amiibo, uh, really cool, because the Ness Amiibo right there, uh, was the first piece of mother merchandise, you know, besides the game, released in, uh, the Americas, and Lucas is, uh, I guess second now, <laughs> um, you know, Lucas is cool because this game was never released in, uh, America, but we, here we are, we got the Amiibo here, it's awesome. Uh, glad to have that. Uh, get this stuff closer to me. Couple other amiibo here. Uh, the what this is kicks from Animal Crossing. Um, I was at Best Buy picking up my Lucas pre-order, and I went back to the amiibo section. I'm like, ah, oh, these are cool. I like, I love Animal Crossing, so I might as well get some of the Wave Two amiibo. Uh, I was planning on just kind of holding off a little bit, but I was like, ah, eh, I'll get them now. So I got kicks. And I got Rossetti. Um, so I remember all the time, I'd never, as a kid, I played Animal Crossing all the time, but I didn't want to, you know, not go without saving because he'd come up and he'd give the speech, and I, uh, those were some good times. I remember one time, I don't know, it's just, I just always would just, uh, I guess it was effective in getting you not to reset without saving. Um, yeah, that's all the Amiibo stuff there. Cool. Also, got uh, some Lego Dimensions. So, I will go into that now. Um, Alright, as for Lego Dimension stuff, uh, I was taking, I was on a trip. We kind of were just um, going around the state to places, not too far away, but places we don't usually get to, uh, to look for games and stuff. We stopped in the GameStop. I don't. I don't. I've never been in it before. And I saw uh, this, the Lego Dimensions Jurassic World Team Pack. Um, and I saw this 50% sticker, and it was on all of them. It was even on the level packs and stuff. Uh, and I was like, okay, that's cool. I'll get this for 50% off. You know, 12.50. So I go up to the counter, and like the girl rings me up, and it's like it said like 18 bucks or something. I'm like, oh, this says. 50% off, that's not 50% off. And she's like, okay, and she just enters it in, and I get it for like, you know, 12 50 I paid like 13 something after tax. And I'm like, cool. Uh, it's, that was weird that it rung up wrong, but I'm glad I could get it for like 13 bucks. Okay. And uh, I go about, and I hit up another GameStop later, I think it was the one I usually go to. I was there, and I saw this thing, and it was like, Lego Dimensions, 50% uh, off the fun packs, and then it was like 30% off team packs. And, uh, or something along that lines, and then like 20% off the level pack. So this wasn't actually supposed to be 50% off. Someone just made a mistake in putting the sticker on there. Um, 
but I got it for 50% off. It was supposed to be like 18 bucks, so she was right when she rang it up and it was that, but hey, since it said that, I got it for that price. I don't think that's too bad. Um, other than that, with LEGO Dimensions, I picked up some other stuff. I really like LEGO Dimensions. If you have not played it, uh, I would recommend it. You can. There's a lot of content right out of the box in the starter pack, but I'd recommend it. You can get it for a good sale. Um, if you can get it a good price on it, I'd say go for it, because it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, picked up the Ghostbusters one, so I got Peter Venkman there. The Ecto-1, and uh, the, level, the Ghostbusters level pack, and a Ghost Trap. Uh, I really like Ghostbusters, so this is really cool. Uh, I have not got the level yet, because this just came in the mail today. Um, it was supposed to... It came out Tuesday, like, you know, three days ago. And I, I was like, hey, isn't that supposed to come in the mail? Because, you know, I got it from Amazon. Um, I got it from Amazon, actually, because uh, a the, they had a deal going on, like beginning of January no I mean I think it was end of December somewhere around then that was like uh it was like half off level or the 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 fun packs um and then it was ten dollars off team pack or team packs or uh level packs when you pre-order or when you just buy them because I bought the scooby-doo one I showed last week that was like ten dollars off just for buying it on Amazon so I was like okay I'll just pre-order the Ghostbusters one and get ten bucks ten bucks off whatever so I did uh, I've not played the level yet uh, Amazon just delivered it today even though it's supposed to come on Tuesday not a big deal because uh, I wouldn't have had time for it anyway but um, yeah I have to try that maybe later tonight other one I got since it was half off fun packs I had to uh, got the Doc Brown fun pack that comes with Doc Brown and the uh, time traveling train that was in the third movie uh, back to the future is like one of my favorite movies if not probably my it's probably my favorite I'd say I don't know. Uh, so, I, you know, got to get that. I got the level pack. It was pretty fun. Uh, so you got to get Doc there. Um, that's all for Toys to Life. So if you want, if you don't care for that, I'm done with it for this video. Um, uh, I should have showed this like two videos ago, but here it is now. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X Collector's Edition Guide. At the end of December, GameStop was doing half-off strategy guides. Uh, so I got this. I used trade credit um, that I had off for random stuff. And I got this for... Uh, uh, I got this for pretty inexpensive. Uh, it was like, you know, 15 bucks or something. Here, everyone, here is a gift to all of you, because I don't care about this. Here's the free e-guide code for the... Here's this, the e-guide for um, Xenoblade Chronicles X strategy guide. If you want the e-guide, use this. Just if you're going to use it, please comment below and tell you if it claimed it, so someone else doesn't try to claim it and then, you know, waste their time typing this in. So here it is, in all its glory. A gift from me because I'm never going to use that. Uh, if you want the, the E strategy guide to Xenoblade Chronicles X, just enter that code into wherever it says so. Um, prima, primagamescom slash code. There you go. I got to throw that away so I don't. <laughs> I'll never use it, but I don't want that anymore. Um, what else is here? Uh, I don't know. I was on one of my trips. I got. We hit the GameStop, another GameStop, and I found a rare artifact of a GameStop that kept, that keeps the DS games in the case and sells them. They had even like cases for like, you know, kids games and stuff. They kept the cases if they got them, and that's awesome. And that makes me more willing to buy DS games because, um, you know, these prices are good for DS games. I just don't want to pay it to have a card only DS game because, you know, they're just a pain. Uh, so I got, this was I think $1.99 Super Monkey Ball Touch and Roll, uh, complete. Funny thing is that they had the DS games out, and they just... I can't open it. <laughs> there we go. They just left the disc, the cartridge, in there. So that's funny. I don't know. They didn't get stolen, apparently, but that was uh, kind of risky. I don't know. Also got Picross 3D. I think this was two ninety nine or something. Uh, I've heard these or Picross games are pretty good puzzle games, so I decided to check it out. Um, yeah, if, you know, DS, if GameStops just keep the DS cases, I'd buy way more DS games from them. Uh, but they usually don't. They throw them away. So, oh well. Uh, what else I got here? Thrift store finds I guess I'm into now. Goodwill. Found this, which is awesome. Two dollars for Bat and Kaidos, Eternal Wings in the Last Ocean. Uh, I wish it was Bat and Kaidos Origins, because that's the one I need. Uh, but this was good, because I already have this. This will be just good recoup money to get, um really cool unfortunately it's one of the GameStops that put the sticker on the back in the day put the sticker on the paper 
That's awful. Uh, but really happy to find that at a Goodwill of all things. Another Goodwill find. Uh, the Little Mermaid for NES. I didn't have this one. It's a Capcom game. Didn't have this. Picked it up. Played a little bit. It wasn't bad. Um, you know. And then another, I think, round this out for thrift store stuff. Uh, in a Goodwill. Got the Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie's Revenge. Um, a lot of people don't know this. This is like a $25 game, just about. $20, $25 range game. Uh, this was complete. And it was $5, which is a little bit more than I want to pay. Uh, but, eh, you know, it's a little slim. A $20, $25 game. I don't know if I have any interest in this, so I might just sell it and get some money to, for collecting or whatever. Uh, but, you know, definitely worth it to get that. I had a funny story about this. A cash land right down the street from this Goodwill. Cash land is the local pawn shop I go to. Cash land right down the street from this the uh, Goodwill that I went to here. Um had this game and I was like oh man that I know that's a twenty twenty five dollar game or whatever I'll have to pick it up but they didn't have a price on it I asked the price and they're like oh it's ten ninety nine and I'm like I'm not paying eleven dollars for this uh so I mean and it didn't have the manual so I'm like okay nice five bucks I almost bought it just to spite that cash land because that cash land's not very good I, they price their stuff dumb uh also at the same goodwill that same day I picked up ps2 video cable I always I, I have like three of these now but I always stockpile them because always in the summer um, I get a bunch of PS2s and stuff, to, and I just, you know, sell them, trade them in, but I need the video cables, uh, so, you know, stockpile as many of these as you can when you can, um, and that's great. Uh, then I think the last find for this one, yeah, uh, a cash land, the pawn shop, went there, uh, this one's been relatively good, I found a lot of cool stuff in this one. I found a disc-only copy of Power Stone 2 for 99 cents in this one. I, that's one of my older videos. I don't remember which one. I can't tell you for the life of me. But it's on one of them. So if you've seen that one, this is the same one. Uh, went there. It's not really close to me. It's maybe about 35 minutes away. Uh, but we were just all around the state, just kind of messing around, going to look for games. And I walk in there, and I see uh, this Super Nintendo system. Uh, it's a little bit yellowed at the bottom, but I was like, hey... They had a price on it. It was only $9.99, so I was like, I'll pick that up. Uh, and it had the video cable, but it was an RF, and then it had the um, power adapter. But as they were looking, going through it, they couldn't find controllers. So they were like, ah, oh, sorry we can't find the controllers or whatever. Um, so they gave this to me. They were like, we can discount it since it doesn't have the controllers. And they gave this to me for 8 bucks. So I have a controller just sitting around. I'll pair it up with and sell it um, some good money. Uh, lots of cool stuff coming out, and it's always just always good to just get some stuff to help find your collection, like that you can sell or whatever. Um, you know, game collecting is not cheap, so you always want to try to fund your collection with whatever you, whatever, whatever, whatever you can. And uh, I think that's it for this video. I would like to uh, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment with what you've picked up lately, what you've been playing or whatever. Always like to read that. Always fun to read. Um, once again, uh, please be courteous if you get that Xenoblade Chronicles X, if you care about getting that e-guide code, uh, just leave in the comments telling if you got it. Uh, I don't, I don't really want it, I'm not going to use it, I have the strategy guide, so I don't want the e-guide, so just go ahead and take it. Uh, just leave in the comments if you got it so someone else doesn't try to get it. Um, other than that, I'd like to thank you for watching, and, uh, Pittsburgh Game Convention, Retro Game Convention, I, don't, I think it's what it's called is uh, Saturday, the tomorrow, the uh, 23rd, yeah, the 23rd, so, uh, you know, if you're anywhere near there, check it out, I'm about two hours away, so that's not too bad, I'll head up there tomorrow, uh, I tried to pick some up, it was really good last year, check out my pickup video from that last year, because I got some really good stuff, that's where I got my uh, Animal Crossing uh, Japanese 64 game in the box, uh, for 15 bucks there, which is really awesome, um, so yeah, you know, it's just stuff like that, uh, it was a really good convention, so hopefully it's good this year as well, and then I'll be hitting other places along the way, uh, so get plenty of, hopefully I'll have plenty of stuff to show off, uh, so video might be, like, soon after this, or it might be, you know, spaced out a week or so, um, but I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.